Okay guys, today I'm gonna talk about my accessories and upgrades on my 2020 BMW GS Adventure. Okay, first I wanna talk about my windshield. This is a Puig brand windshield. Uh, it is like four inches longer than a standard OM BMW windshield. And uh, it's, as you see, it's also black and it's very comfortable. And I really, really love it when I'm riding on the motorcycle. It's just blocking the wind so good that I can listen to my music. I can talk on the phone with my helmet and it's definitely the perfect match for me. Uh, I really love it. And this windshield costs $132. Okay, another thing I have, uh, dash cam on the front and on the rear and this is Viofo MT1 brand that I find on online it costs around 195 or 200 dollars I have I have one this in the front I also have this on the rear and I can connect Wi-Fi on my phone and I can just download the videos and I can just see them live and if something happens on the road like an accident or something I can definitely use them I also had the remote controller by the handlebar. I have two buttons here, one with the Wi-Fi connection indication and one with the uh, recording indication. So if I want to keep the uh, uh, footage that something happened around me, all I have to do, I have to click this button. And then when it's blinking, that means the previous 20 seconds and then next one minute, it's going to save in the in the computer underneath the seat so I can download it later on my phone use that uh, footage wherever I want to use another accessories on my motorcycle that I really like uh, this is this BMW tank pad uh, I just purchased that on eBay and it cost $30 and I think it's a perfect match also with the, with the color on my bike I really love it another item on my bike is the Quadlock motorcycle mount for my iPhone you have to have the case to use that uh, it's also matching the female and the male so all you have to do you just have to put it here like that start charging your phone when the ignition is on right now it's off well, let me turn on the ignition real quick and here it, it goes it's gonna charging immediately Okay, the next thing is I have the this handguard extensions that I purchased from Aliexpress. It's very cheap, like $18 per pair on the left and right. And it's definitely perfect uh, for the windy and the rainy days. It just protects my hands. A little bit better than this, it's higher. So it's also good for the wind protection. Next thing, I have the handle by Razor. It's like about two inches upper and back towards to myself. So I can keep the steering wheel closer to me and it's much more comfortable to me and it costs only $23 this is this is not the one of the expensive ones that I can purchase but I just go with this one and I'm pretty happy with that it doesn't get loose or nothing like that so it's just $23 and it's the one of the items that I must have on my bike okay I have I have this uh, USB charger for BMW that I purchased from Aliexpress this is only $10 and it takes three to four weeks to arrive. And it also have the blue, red, yellow or white LED lights. I just got the blue because my bike is the same color. And I, I choose the one with the one USB port for the GoPro and one uh, type C for my iPhone on the, on the fly. So I can keep charging my phone while I'm riding. Next thing, those engine guard protectors uh, I got those from also Aliexpress it's like $14 per pair left and right and uh, it's a very solid and hard plastic and I believe it's gonna do its job when it's fall and I'm sure I'm gonna drop the bike sometime so it is very cheap and I think it's the it's nice I don't know much I, I like to have it okay next thing I have those blue lights uh, underneath the BMW emblem I got them from Germany. Uh, I don't remember the name of the company, but you will see the link down there if you want to check them out their website or if you want to purchase them. There also goes yellow when you turn on your turning signal. 
They can go with the turning signal and your uh, four-way hazard lights. So, and they look pretty good to me. And they have uh, different colors, like the yellow. I mean, the instead of blue, you can get the yellow, white, red, or a couple more color, I believe, whatever your motorcycle is. So you can match, to, you can match the light color with your motorcycle. And they cost $170 in US. They are like 130 euro. And I think it looks really beautiful. Another thing, this is the one of the item that I always have on my motorcycles. This cost one dollars only, and this is a very good rest for my palm. And when I'm on the highway, uh, I have a cruise control anyway, but sometimes I just go on like that without using my fingers. Uh, it's definitely a perfect and cheapest accessories or upgraded on my bike that I love. Next, I have this Jess reflector from eBay, and they are. Uh, and they have different colors red white green yellow. I choose the red one. It's matching with my bike again So it's only $15 on eBay um, And it's it's also reflecting on the nighttime and it looks really nice Next thing I have this GoPro remote control uh, I have this little piece over here and you can just remove it just by pushing this like that underneath this little latch here and that's how it unlocks and this is i just bought it from aliexpress and it's only five dollars and sometimes i i locate my gopro which i have it right now on the windshield i can put it down there to to record the brakes and the the shifting angle and i can just control uh, my gopro on the fly on this remote controller it's wi-fi and it's, it's just five dollars and i really like it okay another upgrade on my bike Another cheap upgrade on my bike, this, this valve caps, these are also from AliExpress. It's like $4 and it says R1250GS on it. And it also have different colors uh, matching with your bike. So I got them and I removed the original ones and I just keep them over here. And it's, I think it looks good with the yellow, with the golden rims and I really love it. Okay guys, another upgrade is on my bike. It's the crash bars. These are originally coming with the GS Adventure models with the BMW, as you know. But these are blue. Uh, this is not the original color from the factory. I just powdered them uh, with the same matching color with my bike. And it's around $150 for the both side. As well as with the skid plate underneath. Um, this is another upgrade, actually. Um, it also costs around $150. It's a little bit larger, wider, and much more durable than the original BMW. OEM parts and also I, I wanted to get also powdered this one with the same color Okay, another upgraded on my bike is the tank bag uh, This SW Motec brand uh, as you see over here uh, I don't know if you can see it over here SW Motec brand and this is the smallest one uh, There are so many different sizes. It goes all the way up here or back here and I just wanted to get the smallest one because all I can keep is just my sunglasses, my gloves and a couple other things that, you know, like wallet, passport, all those things that uh, in daily that you may need. I have my garage remote and everything. So, and also I can just remove this by pulling this latch over here and it's up immediately in my hand and this is the bracket goes on your tank and if you want to latch it back again all we have to do is just locate it here and uh, push it and that's it and it costs 160 dollars online and i just I, I did the installation myself you can see the video up here okay another upgrade on my bike that i really wanted to have this license plate on my bike for all those years when i was planning to purchase this bike um, as you see this is r1250 the colors also perfect match with my bike uh, as everything else and it only cost $90 extra in Florida and I think uh, it also looks beautiful in my opinion I don't know let me know what you guys think about the R1250 license plate number if it's if it's too much or if it's the good match with the with the bike okay guys another upgrade on my bike it's the clear water lights those lights um, it's, it has a kind of a story for me. I wanted to buy them, but they were kind of expensive. 
but I just make a research and I kind of find that they are really really nice and these are the Clearwater Erika uh, series and they come usually they are like that they are usually clear and they also give you the covers with the yellow or the clear ones so I keep the yellow ones because I think they are matching with the rims and also they are matching uh, with the uh, with the housing color on the back uh, normally they come with the black ones but as you see on the back uh, if you can show here uh, these are blue and clear water charging $70 per the pair uh, just for the blue color or red color uh, instead of black black comes to the regular price and um, these are really really strong and really really quality products that I made the investment on my bike um, uh, let me show you real quick how they look uh, they're gonna be flashy or like a sliding kind of thing on the camera but they are not like that they are just solid all the time it just looks like that on the camera and then I'm gonna show you another uh, clear water on the back on the license plate which is a red one which also is a very good product let me show you real quick how it looks when, when I turn on the ignition The next clear water product that I have this license plate frame. This light is very, very bright and it's adjustable. You can make it brighter if you want. And as you see, when you click on the brake, it's just kind of blinking a couple times and then just goes solid. And then um, it, it's extremely bright on the nighttime. And I really like that one. And they are a little bit pricey. And this one is around uh, $150. And the uh, on the front those yellow clear water lights around like twelve hundred dollars and plus tax and shipping so it's they cost me over fourteen hundred dollars just those two yellow lights plus this one on the bike this is something that really important for me for the being visible on the traffic uh, and i kind of count on them okay another upgrade on my bike is those left and right foot packs they are uh they are hp brand uh, just like the brake and the gear lever on the left and right um, They are really nice and they are really really uh, durable uh, better than the original OM ones and they cost $414 per pair left and right those brake and gear levers uh, $465 and they are also very durable as well and it's a not a must update but I kind of like to have quality stuff on my bike I also have another upgrade front brake and the clutch lever uh, from HP again, they are adjustable. You can make it on the front and on the back or whatever you like it It, uh, it depends how big your hand and they also cost uh, $365 per pair left and right and I can adjust them over here by adjusting this little lever over there Another cheap upgrade on my motorcycle is the TFT protection. This is a $15 clear protection uh, cover on the TFT avoiding the scratches and everything and it doesn't reduce any color or anything like that it's still very alive okay another accessories or upgrades on the bike I have this Bumot brand top case uh, I also have the side cases left and right uh, but I'm not really uh, going anywhere far from home lately so I just keep them on the garage right now and this is not the BMW, this is the Bumot brand. As you see over here, there's a little logo. It says Bumot. Uh, these are much more durable and much more quality than the OM BMW ones. The size is also a little bit higher and bigger than the original ones. And that's how we operate it. And I have this little uh, storage here, but this is for the original BMW one that's why it doesn't match here 
So the original BMW is BMW uh, top case is this big. So like I think two, like three inch wider than the original BMWs. And I kind of like it. It's it's very tough. It's very durable. And uh, and three of them with the bracket and everything. It costs nineteen hundred dollars. And they have several colors like black, this gray, and like a kind of um, green or close to green color I don't know you can check out on the website I like them okay this seat BMW rally HP seat it's around $600 uh, I like the color combination which is matching with my bike but uh, what I can say about this seat is it's a comfortable seat but when you sit on it for more than two or three hours it's kind of getting a little bit uh, pain on your on your butt so I cannot tell you this is the really most comfortable seat. I have the other pair on the on my garage, uh, two black one on the front and for the passenger. Uh, but I like to keep this one uh, because it's better on the color. Okay, another upgrade is on this stand foot on the BMW side stand. Uh, this is a larger, as you see, for off-road riding and for places like beach and sand and muddy places so it doesn't stick all the way down and it's only $30 okay another upgrade uh, those turning signal left and right on the front and on the back and these are kind of as you see shorter than the original ones and a little bit uh, bigger because these are the LED ones um, I don't know how much they cost actually I think around 200 uh, between 200 300 dollars um, I like to have them because they are really nice. Okay, another upgrade is radiator protection guard. They are plastic and only $25-$30 and the installation is not so difficult. It's a, I think this is an important upgrade for protection the uh, radiators from the rocks and the, all those stuff that you can get from the highway. Also, I have this little protection here that also from AliExpress. It's like a $15. It's something matching with my bike again with the blue color. I also I also use this uh, shoe Neotech 2 uh, helmet. Uh, it's a modular helmet. Uh, probably you guys know about that. Um, this is a, one of the best uh, premium helmets on the market right now after the Schubert or before the Schubert. I don't know, it's your choice. I kind of like this one because of the color combination because it's matching with my bike. Um, yeah, I have the microphones here. Um, this is the Bluetooth connection. I mean the SRL something. It's also uh, integrated here, Bluetooth. Um, it also has the sun visor on the sunny days that I can that I'm always using especially in Florida yeah this is my helmet and I have one more showy uh, black one but I'm not really driving with that one around here okay another upgrade on the bike that I purchased for $31 from eBay again this GoPro mount it goes right here on the headlight protection you can just uh, change the screws that they provided I used to install my GoPro over here but uh, lately I'm not using the GoPro uh, for the front angle and this is Insta360R this is a 360 camera if you see my other videos you will see a different angle looks like a drone but it is not drone for sure this is the one so I just screw this over here instead of GoPro and uh, this is the invisible stick that you can purchase online so I can go upward like that or go straight or go lower whatever angle I want I can keep this one or whatever length that I want shorter or longer so this is the another upgrade on my bike that while I'm riding I'm using the 360 camera and I have one more GoPro here recording myself while I'm riding and there is another one sometime I just put it on my chin area on my helmet um, I don't know what I can tell. I also have this little uh, protection things on the uh, left and right handle handlebar. These are like a 
soft sponge that's uh, because the rubbers the original rubbers on the handle they were hurting my palms so these are much more better and softer and it's only like three dollars upgrade from aliexpress yeah i have a couple more things actually let me show you over here they are protection for your ears um, little tiny things that it comes with a little tool you just put it like that and then you just put it on your ear just like that yeah that's how you operate them and those little things they cost around uh, 35 40 dollars and uh, these are really good on the highways you know it just reduced the noises the wind noises traffic noises and everything and i think this is something that every motorcyclist has to have them okay one more thing uh, i just remember i also have those uh, wind protection on the left and right these are normally clear color but i just upgraded them with the black because it's matching with my dashboard here with my cockpit everything is almost black here so i wanted to have them black and they are also 35 dollars upgrade from aliexpress again and i just installed them by myself it's a very easy installation all you have to do is remove those two screws and just put down the new ones back and then uh, that's it this is not an upgrade actually, I just got this with the motorcycle, but this is a, something additional, BMW Motorrad Navigation 6 from Garmin. It's a nice equipment, but it's very difficult to use that one because, yeah, it's kind of difficult to input the address and everything. It's not easy as my iPhone. That's why I like to keep my iPhone over here and that's why I'm always charging it. Um, with me and uh, because this is much easier on my iPhone everything okay guys I have one more video on my YouTube channel that it's a cheap rear fender installation I used to have a rear fender over here uh, you'll see the video up here and I had to remove that one because I saw the bolts from here and here which are the connection for those fender they, this one just came out it was almost completely loose so I just wanted to take it off and put the original BMW ones on the on the motorcycle because this is the swing arm uh, bolt and it is very critical uh, equipment on the bike so I didn't want to have trouble or something like that so I didn't want to risk for a $40 rear fender it kind of looks good actually for $40 thing but the safety is much important than the look so that's why I just removed this way because I want to have the original factory BMW bolts okay another detail on my GS that uh, this little GS sticker on the rear fender uh, I think it looks beautiful I just got this uh, reflection sticker from Walmart and cut it myself um, you can find the pre-cut stickers online for 10 or 15 dollars but at the time I couldn't find it so I just did it myself and I think it's a little beautiful detail on the bike. Okay guys, that's it for today. I think this is all I can say about my upgrades and accessories on my bike. Like I said, I got this bike six months ago and next year I'm planning to uh, a big trip to Turkey or somewhere in Europe. So I have still six more months to upgrade or add some more stuff on my motorcycle. and. Uh, if you really have other accessories that I don't have or I should have, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any comment, any suggestion uh, or any question, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, I will definitely uh, answer you. Uh, this is my bike and this is my upgrades. So I hope you like the video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.